All right, Shalom Yasharala, back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai. Before beginning this lesson, I'm going to give our honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors unto the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who still guard her to the hours of bowers and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible. And Ruel, in peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto the Akims out there who is pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai. And you know, uh, I'm going to do another. Um, Another lesson, you know what I'm saying, on this, on this, uh, on pretty much why, uh, one of the reasons why America's gonna be destroyed, man, you know what I'm saying, because they, uh, how should I say, they, um, they, uh, they, they put these artificial ingredients into our food to poison us, man, you know, so before I read the, uh, the article, I'm gonna read the scripture, this is the book of, uh, Ezekiel, chapter 4, verse 13, and the Lord said, Yahweh said, even thus shall the children of Israel, which consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and confusion of faces, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Right, and who are the Gentiles? These heathen nations, man. Starting off with the so-called white man on down, man. We shall eat our defiled bread amongst these Gentiles, man. Amongst all the heathen. And Lord willing, I'll make a, a, a list of... Of uh, different heathen foods that we uh, eat amongst the Gentiles, man. That's the foul, man. That's an abomination to Yah by Shemia Shai. Which, uh, it's like a wither, uh, it's like a uh, uh, eat that the foul bread amongst the Gentiles, whether I will drive them right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, we eat our, we're, we're eating our uh, the foul bread, man, amongst these Gentiles, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, chiefly the so called white man, you know. So, um, you know, in the four corners of the earth, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but, but mainly here in America, man, because America uh, influences other nations to, uh, um, to, to, to manufacture these poisonous foods, man, in the four corners of the earth, man, you know? And Yahabai Shema Shah drove the majority of our people here, right here into the Americas, man, you know, in the valley of the shadow of death. So without further ado, I'm going to read the the article, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not going to make this video too long, I'm just going to read and try to hit some main points, you know, and it says, um, this is from www.healthline.com, six reasons why high fructose corn syrup is bad for you. Now, if any uh, Akim out there is pretty much a conscious eater, you know what I'm saying, or somebody who, um, who um, reads their food label, You'll see some, some, uh, um, pretty much most of the ingredients, especially in these conventional stores, like these little, uh, gas stations, or these, um, or just like, uh, like, uh, packages, packaging, like snacks and stuff like that. You know, you'll see high fructose corn syrup, man, on the ingredients, man. You know what I'm saying? It's on some of these teas, some of these drinks. You know what I'm saying? It's the majority of the food, you know? So, six reasons why high fructose corn syrup is bad for you, man. High fructose corn syrup is a type of artificial sugar made from corn syrup. Right, you know what I'm saying? We really shouldn't be eating, uh, eating corn syrup either. You know what I'm saying? You know? And really, to be honest, corn really in itself is like one of the most top GMO foods in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially here in America, you know? So I, I would, wouldn't really eat corn that often, you know. But it's a type of artificial sugar made from corn syrup. And the word artificial pretty much means it's fake, man. It's it's not real. If something is artificial, it's not it's not real. It's something that's um it's something that's pretty much like uh like ish. Like how uh that how the Jewish people call themselves Jewish. You know what I'm saying? Ish is like you know what I'm saying? Or or like uh, to be to be like that's pretty much what artificial is pretty much similar to that. You know what I'm saying? It's like the real sugar, but it's not the real sugar. You know what I'm saying? 
Many experts state that sugar and high fructose corn syrup are key factors in today's obesity epidemic. Which that's true. Because a lot of people eat these artificial sugars. You know what I'm saying? They get all big like a hot dog on house. You know? High fructose corn syrup and sugar are also linked to many other serious health issues, including diabetes and heart disease, right? And and, and, and they want to know why. What? And, and people want to know why um, heart disease and all these other uh, diseases are on high, man. Well, it's pretty much because of your diet, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not, um, you're not, um, how should I say, you're not thinking when you eat it, man, you just eating food, eat, you just eating food when you see food, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, so, um, and I was wondering how you know we in hell, you know what I'm saying, because we have to look at our ingredients label and then research the ingredients that's on the food label and see if it's pretty, if it's legit or not, that's, that's, we shouldn't have to do that, man, you know, uh, here are six reasons why high fructose corn syrup is bad for your health. Number one, high fructose corn syrup adds an unnatural amount of fructose. I mean, it's like a adds an unnatural amount of fructose to your diet, man. You know, and I'm gonna skim through this. I'm not gonna read all of it. Many starchy carbs, many starchy carbs such as rice, are broken down into glucose, the basic form of carbs. However, table sugar and high fructose corn syrup are 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Glucose is easily transported and utilized in every cell in your body. It's also the predominant, predominant fuel source for high intensity exercise and various processes, right? So, like, um, you know, when you're exercising, you know what I'm saying, especially uh, if brothers, you know what I'm saying, hit the gym often, you know what I'm saying, we like to feel, you know what I'm saying, you like to feel energized, you like to feel full, you like to feel satisfied, man, so you can uh, have an intense workout, man. Push it to the push it to the max, you know. That's pretty much what glu glucose provides, you know. Uh, in contrast, the flu the fructose from high fructose corn syrup and table sugar needs to be converted to needs needs to be converted to fat and glyc and glyc glycogen glycogen stored carbs by the liver before it can be as fuel. High fructose corn syrups add uh, a natural amount. Of fructose to your diet, which the human body has not evolved to handle properly, right? And you want to know why the human body hasn't evolved to uh, handle it properly and why it never will? Because it's fake, man. It's fake sugar, man. You know, of course, your body is not evolved to break it down because it ain't supposed to be in there. You know, it ain't supposed to be in there. That's how we know that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24, man. You know? Because Esau manufactured um, and pretty much produced these poisonous artificial sugars and artificial uh, sweeteners and uh, artificial preservatives, man. You know? That it destroys our body, man. You know? It talking about some uh, uh, the human body hasn't evolved. To handle the the property, and it never will because it's fake, man. Of course, it's, 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 it's of course we can't do it, man. So I'm gonna go to number two. It's easily converted into fat. High fructose corn syrup is easily converted to fat when consumed in excess. This is because uh, the fructose is um, uh, metabolized by the liver. The liver can turn the fructose into uh, glyco glycogen stored carbs, but it but it has limited storage uh, capacity. While small amounts of fructose from fruit can be fine, large doses from soda or sweets can overload the can overload the liver and can be converted to fat, which is not good. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. You know that that is that is not good. Which you're not supposed to be drinking soda anyway. You know what I'm saying? Soda is on natural and uh, I'm just gonna you know what I'm saying just go down cause I don't want to make this a too long video uh, it will increase your uh, it will increase your risk of obesity and weight gain right because it's unnatural man of course if he if, like, like if a person like if you look at um, a, 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 a nutritionist right a person that pretty much take care of their body you know what I'm saying you know a real nutritionist okay 
Uh, they they mostly eat fruits and vegetables, man. You know what I'm saying? Fruits and vegetables, you know? Real fruits and real vegetables, you know? And they are not, you cannot get obese with just fruits and vegetables, man. That is impossible. And first of all, it's not artificial. And second of all, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's natural, man. You know, and also it's lower in calories. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, something that's, how should I say, something that's unnatural for your body, make, that makes your body go crazy, don't know what to do with it, is going to make your body, uh, produce something that ain't supposed to produce, man. You know? Assessed intake is the key is the key cause of diabetes. Excessive fructose or high fructose corn syrup consumption can also lead to insulin resistance, a condition that can result in type two diabetes, which can kill you if you don't. Um, cause, cause diabetes can be cured, man. With with your, with the change of your diet, man. You might have to get on a hardcore diet, such as like a vegan diet. You know what I'm saying? Where you have to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. You know what I'm saying? But it can be reversible though, and ultimately your high by shot is um, is the course is the main uh, physician, you know what I'm saying? So the the, the main the per the, you know what I'm saying he can cure, you know what I'm saying he can cure that, you know of course. Uh, it can lead it can increase risk of other serious diseases. Many serious diseases have been linked to overconsumption of fructose. Fructose. High fructose corn syrup and sugar have been shown to drive inflammation, which is associated with an increased risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Right, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that high fructose corn syrup can lead to, man. They say in excessive, in excessive amount, you know. So, you know, like um, fried foods, man. Fried foods is pretty much... Um, linked with high fructose corn syrup, man. You know, so watch out for fried foods, man. You know what I'm saying? High insulin levels can be caused by sugar could also fuel tumor growth. Several long-term studies have found a link between high fructose corn syrup intake and cancer risk. In addition to inflammation, excess fructose also can increase harmful substance called advanced uh, glycogen. Katen in products age which may harm you harm you cells and make you age faster which is not good you know what I'm saying you know and uh six it contains no essential nutrients uh, like other added sugars high fructose corn syrup is empty calories it can uh, it contains plenty of uh, it contains plenty of calories, but absolutely no essential nutrients. Eat high fructose corn syrups, uh, high fructose corn syrup substance. That's what I think it's what the S stands for. Well, there uh, will therefore decrease the amount in the total um, nutrient content of your diet, because the more you eat high fructose corn syrup substances, the less room you have for nutrient dense foods. At the end of the day, avoiding high fructose corn syrup may be one of the easiest and most effective ways for you to improve improve your health and lower your risk of disease, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, uh, I came out there, man. Hey, man, stay away from that high fructose corn syrup and these artificial sugars, man. And Lord willing, I do a video on preservatives, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, because even though all these foods are the fat that we eat, more foods are more defiled than other foods, man. So you want to stay where the foods where that's that's less defiled, man. You know what I mean? You know. So an artificial one of the a high fructose corn syrup is one of the foods that is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most defiled foods that you can eat, man. You know. So hey, man. You know. Also, you know. Uh, high fructose corn syrup, man. Hey, man, that that man. It's in sodas. It's in cakes. Pretty much, uh, like sodas, cakes, and all that stuff, man. Hey, try try your best to eat those. Very rare, you know what I'm saying? You know, don't even try not to consume those. You know. <laughs> mm, blocky. So, hey, man, with that.
And Lord willing, that was edifying for Yakim that is watching through the spirit party. How about Shima Shah? Like Ezekiel uh, 4 and 13 says, man, we, we the Hebrew Israelites, man, and we're going we're gonna to eat all the foul bread amongst these heathen nations, man. You know? We're going we're gonna to eat all the, the foul breads, man. You know? The foul foods. <sighs> Slack you. So with that, I'm going to give all honor and glory and praises to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who still guard to the Hawas and Bawas and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and who will. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yaqims out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. This is why we need Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. This is why we need Lord Yahweh Shai to come back. You know what I'm saying? And Lord willing, y'all, by Shemir Shah, put some more spirit on me to make more of these videos because I love doing these type of videos. With that, Shalawam, Kwame Ashirala.